Now we can finally get to page 3, where we talk about the differential mode half circuit. Differential mode half circuit has to do with differential mode, clearly. And we're going to split our circuit in half. That's why we name it that. Uh, a lot of things in engineering we name in uh, the easy way. Uh, the, easy, the way that's easy for us to figure out. It's a very plain sounding name. Uh, why do we do that? Well, in my opinion, we do this because uh, we've got better things to do uh, for using our brain power than uh, coming up with and especially remembering uh, all these sorts of uh, fancy names. Okay? All right, here we go. Here's our uh, circuit of destiny. We have two collector resistors. Uh, we can put really anything up here, but right now the important part is that uh, we have some symmetry in the circuit. Here's our uh, structure here to apply differential and common mode signals. Okay, and then finally we have uh, our differential pair. This is an NPN, bipolar junction transistors, and our tail source. Remember what we said on page one about what this, uh, how RE relates to this. RE uh, is really just for uh, AC. Okay, it's the output AC output resistance of our uh, current source. We're going to start doing this by looking at uh, do a KVL loop here, and I'm going to call this uh, node uh, E because it's the emitters of both both circuits or both uh, both transistors. All right, so I'm going to go up here. I'm going to say, all right, so if we have, uh, this is our circuit, so this is uh, A and B. Let's do our KVL loop. Uh, let's see, let's do red for this, for our loop. We're going to start here. We're going to come up, come up here, down, okay. Here we go. I'm going to do this uh, minus VCM, minus VD uh, over 2, okay. Now we're going to come down, we're going to do plus VBE. Notice how this is lowercase, uppercase, this is the total signal. This will be important for us later uh, when we have differential terms added here. But right now we're just, uh, this is what we have. Go down here, now we have, what is this? Well, this is the same node. We can continue with our KVL loop and we can go back up a VBE. This node, remember this node voltage VE is not included in our KVL loop because it's always voltage differences, difference, difference, difference. We're going to go back up, minus VBE, I'll call this 2, VBE1. And then over here, we're going to go around this way. Okay, stick an arrow on there. Okay, keep going. There's no connection there. Keep going. And this is a minus V, D over 2. Come back through here. And then plus V, C, M, and that equals 0. This is KVL. All right. What do we see here? Well, what is node VE? Uh, I'm not sure that this KVL was actually useful. All right, so we can say, I know that VA is... VCM plus VD over 2, okay? Well, VBE number 1 is, in fact, VA minus uh, VE. Substitute this in, we get VCM. We want that. VBE one, two. Okay, so we have this, 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 
we have VBE2 is VB minus VE. Remember, this is VCM minus VD over 2 minus VE. Can do some substituting, and we can say, well, VE is VB minus VB. E2 or VE is VCM minus VD over 2 uh, minus VBE2 very similar we can say another version of VE is way up here we have VCM this I didn't even write that down, did I? Okay. All right. So we have this, this, and V C M plus V D over two minus V B E one. Well, watch what we're gonna do. We're gonna take these two and add them together. I get two V E is 2VCM. You getting excited? These terms go away and I say minus VBE2 minus VBE1 uh, Okay, one more substitution in here, 2VCM minus Take the minus out, and we're going to get, uh, take out a minus, take out a minus, V, B, E, 1, plus V, B, E, 2. We're going to say that V, B, E, 1, and V, B, E, 2 are the same. So this is 2 V, B, E which is like our 0.6 or 0.7 if we're working at DC. Now we have V E is V C M minus V B E. We're done. Well, almost done. And you notice that's what we have uh, up here. V C M minus V B E. Remember, this is only if these two V B E's are the same. And this is clearly what we have. But here's the thing. When we have this, but if our signal if our signal is only on the difference, that means our common mode signal, which is way over here, is static. That means um, V, C, M is DC only. That means this node, then node VE also doesn't change. Okay, can you see it uh, doesn't change? So VE is DC, it doesn't change, or it don't change. This is how we do it. VD over 2 goes up this way. Minus VD over 2 goes down, so when VD changes, they go equal and opposite, equal and opposite, equal and opposite. We've seen this in our uh, seesaw model here. When VD is changing, but VCM is staying the same, we have equal, opposite, equal, opposite. It's the, like the uh, fulcrum is pseudo pseudo DC now we can take our common mode half circuit here we go split this into two I'm gonna redraw this down here I'm, oh, I'm certain starting to get excited uh, plus V plus actually I'm really getting excited because I've got hot coffee and it's cooling off so we gotta finish this video here's RC you notice that both of these resistors are the same value. They don't have to be. 
uh, but very commonly they are so watch out for that that's this is really RC1 I have this one this is Q1 and I have V D over 2 that's my signal going up and down what do we do with here this one uh, what should I do here doesn't change and I'm oh what I really wanted was AC equivalent draw the AC equivalent circuit I fear there's no capacitors in here but when we're doing the AC equivalent circuit which is what we're doing uh, in this thing if this node doesn't change then we can just say that's zero. We've done that for our power supplies. Our power supplies are DC and independent. They don't change. We set those to zero. Now we just have a... Uh, here's our output node. Call that out A. And common emitter amplifier. We also have this one. I'll just draw this one quickly for our watch out here's this one plus V this is Q2 RC again this is out B but watch out this is minus V D over 2 but watch how I'm gonna draw this waveform when V D over 2 goes goes up minus V D over 2 goes down Please pay attention to the phases of those. They're going equal and opposite, equal and opposite. And they're equal and opposite by very definition of how we have that set up. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, thanks for bearing with me on this uh, video.